Bienvenidos, Ushamdid, and welcome Anne Arundel Community College learners from the CTS 130 Section 402 course for the Spring 2021 semester. This is the Cisco Networking Academy's ITN Version 7 course curriculum, or the Introduction to Networks Version 7 course curriculum. And in this, our final activity of the semester is skills number four activity, where we're going to be getting some subnetting practice in order to crush that final skills-based assessment, that hands-on activity where you're going to be required to do a number of configuration tasks in Packet Tracer. So let's take a look at this activity. It's actually a Word document, and we're going to be working some things out here as well as writing some subnetting out. And so the objective is simply practice for the hands-on skills assessment subnetting. Here's the topology that we're working with. Again, we're not configuring anything in this activity. We're simply working out the values that we would need to use. Now, this note here is very, very important. Uh, in order to learn how to subnet, right, and to be able to do it in a examination scenario, you want to make sure that you're not using a subnet calculator. If you do, use it to check your answers, but don't use it to get the answer. All right, so using variable length subnet masking and giving the IP address of 200.12.1.0 slash 24, right? And they're going to give us some hints right away. Create two subnets that will support the number of required hosts below. Use variable length subnet masks to waste the fewest number of addresses possible. So it says show your work, and then we've got some room here with which to show our work, but we can do everything we need to do right down here. All right, so let me go back and take a look. 212.1, so let's get that written out here. So 200.12.1.0, we'll write this over here in the left-hand column, 200. Dot twelve dot one dot zero slash twenty four. And again, two hundred is a class C address. And by default, if we were talking about a classful addressing scenario here, the two hundred dot twelve dot one would be a class C address. So we need two subnets. Well, this is an immediate giveaway as to what we would want to tackle here for the first subnet. Because again, we need 100 usable host IPs. And that equation that we use, the number of bits borrowed, is going to be 2 raised to the number of bits borrowed. So if I say 2, and we'll put an in here for network bits, right? So how many bits are we borrowing for the network portion of the address. Well, we did simply need to figure out if I borrowed all eight, right, which is what we have right here by default and we know we're not using, it would be 256, right? So let's say that we did two to the eight, and I'll do a little arrow here so it doesn't look like we're subtracting. So two to the eight would be 256. Total IPs minus two would be 254. And obviously that's way more than we actually need, right? So I'll say 254 here. So what about two to the seven? What if I borrow the first bit? Well, two to the seven, as it turns out, is equal to 128. And we take away two, and that's gonna leave me with 126 usable IPs. Well, remember, we wanna waste the fewest amount. So it's always good to say, well, what's the next subnet uh, below? And two to the six is 64. So we know right there that we are undershooting meeting that requirement of 100. However, we may have just answered that question right there. So here's what we're going to do. Our first network and again, we've seen this form before. So number of bits in the subnet, so borrowed bit. So for the first network, we're going to be borrowing one bit, right? New IP mask in binary. Well, I'm going to make it easy. We're just going to say all ones dot all ones 
dot all one. So 255 dot 255 dot 255. And then in binary, the last octet would look like this. And again, these dashes are just eight ones, eight ones, eight ones. That way we don't have to sit here and draw this out with my mouse. So this is what the subnet mask looks like in binary. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so that's our new subnet mask in binary. In decimal, it's going to be 255.255.255. And we'll put it over here, simply 128. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, maximum number of usable subnets. Well, we just created one subnet, right? And my reading of this question based off what it's asking here is maximum number of usable subnets. Well, we I guess the maximum technically you could say is two. If we did two slash 25s, then that's that's it. We could have the, the subnet ID that's 200.12.1.0 slash 25 and then 200.12.1.0 uh, 200.12.1.128 slash 25. So I guess if we're doing fixed length, and maybe I'll just put a little FL over here for fixed length subnet masking, the maximum usable uh, maximum number of usable subnets is going to be two. And remember the equation for that is two raised to the number of bits, I'll put BB up here, bits borrowed. And so two to the one <clears throat> is two. And again, this is fixed length subnet masking that we're talking about when we answer that question. Number of usable hosts per subnet. Well, you know what? We already did the legwork there. You could have 126. Again, if all the networks were slash 25s. The IP subnet or network ID, well, it's either going to be 200, and we already said this here, dot 12, dot one, dot zero, if we pick the first subnet to use, or if we pick the second one, which we probably wouldn't, we're gonna pick that first one, 200.12.1.128. And again, I just wrote them both out here so that we could see what both a fixed length scenario would, would yield here with a slash 26. So it's either going to be 212.10 or 212.1.128. Those are the network IDs. So we're focused here on that one right there. First usable, dot one last usable, right? And again, it's asking for usable, not last address, i.e. the broadcast address. So last usable would be 126. And it looks like it double dotted that there for me. Let me pull this out here. Dot 126. And our broadcast address, and it doesn't ask us for that, but let's go ahead and say it, 127 is the broadcast address. I'll just say Bcast or just BC. And so that's going to be our first subnet, <clears throat> excuse me, in this variable length subnet masking activity, right? And that's very, very important. Okay. Now, that's our first subnet. We know our usable. We know our first usable, our last usable. We got all the information we need to apply this in a hands-on scenario. And so if subnet A, and let's take a look where subnet A is going to go up here. So if subnet A was going to be used up here on the left-hand side, the router, let's give it the first usable IP, 200.12.1.1. And let's give the PC the last usable IP, 200.12.1.126, right? And then you would go in, make, excuse me, make those configuration changes, and you're good to go. Now we're going to take care of subnet B. Right, so let me see if I can dial this back up right to there. So there is subnet A, and I'm gonna erase the screen here. And now we come down to subnet B. Oh, and actually they're gonna tell us right down here which addresses are gonna be used. All right, so remember subnet B, 50 devices, right? So subnet B, we want 50 usable host IPs, and we already know the answer to this, right? So two to the six, meaning we have six host bits remaining, and that would indicate we borrowed the first 
two host bits, meaning it's not a slash 25, it's a slash 26, right? It's a little bit smaller. And so two to the six is 64 minus two, whoops, two to the six is 64 minus two gives us 62 usable. So we waste 12. But what if I drop down one to two to the five? Is this gonna be a little bit better fit? Well, no, two to the five is 32. And so we miss the mark. We undershoot what we're going to need to meet this requirement. And so our answer is this two to the six right here. Meaning we have six host bits remaining. Now this is also our block size of 64, and that's gonna become important when we pick up from 128. So number of bits in the subnet, again, the subnet bits we have two, because we're doing a slash 26. New mask and binary, so I'm just gonna go 255, or I should say all ones, all ones, all ones, and then simply one, 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 two, whoops, one, two, three, four, and five, right? And so there is what our IP mask would look like in dotted binary format. So one, one, and then six zeros in the last final fourth octet. And in decimal, it's gonna be, uh, and I guess we'll just do 255, 255, 255. And then we take 128 and we add 64 and we get 192 because the, these are the values of those two bit positions, 128 being the leftmost high order bit position in the last octet. And then the second to last on the left-hand side is gonna have a value of 64. We add those together. So 255, 255, 255, 192. Maximum number of usable subnets. Well, we're borrowing two bits. So two to the two is four. Now, it would be four if we hadn't already used half the range available in this slash 24. So we're not gonna get four more subnets here. So here we have to be a little bit savvy and understand that a slash 25 is equal to two slash 64s. So the total number of usable subnets that are left with the space we have is two. It's gonna be that one right there. Excuse me. It's gonna be this one right here. Uh, I underlined the wrong value. <laughs> it's gonna be the subnet that we create, which is not starting at 192. It's gonna start at 128. So we've got 128 is gonna be our subnet ID. If I added 64 to that, it's gonna give me, whoops, 192. And I can't add 64 to 192 or else it would give me 256. And so we know that the only two slash 64s I could squeeze in with the space that's left are those two right there. And this one is the one we're gonna use, the 128. So number of usable host IPs, right? The answer is already up there. We know it's two to the six minus two, so 62. And the IP subnet network ID is gonna be 200.12 dot one, dot 128. That is our subnet ID. First usable host address is that same 212.1.129. Last usable, and this is where you've got to have that block size to be able to add the block size to the network ID we're using to get to the next network to be able to say, well, yeah, 191 is my broadcast address, meaning my last usable is going to be 190, right? So now let's scroll down a little bit here and we want to erase things and we'll see, oh, we can actually, I think we're going to be able to get this answered here without moving down at all. So the network router interfaces are going to use the first usable IP. So subnet A is going to use dot one. Subnet B is going to be using dot 129. Um, the host computers will use the last usable IP. So this worked out nicely. So subnet A, it's going to be dot uh, 128, 27, 126, and in subnet B, it's going to be 190. 
Yeah, 190 is the last usable IP. And then you're going to record your information right here. So PC1 is going to be 212, 1, 126, subnet mass 255, 255, 255, 128. And the gateway is going to be 212.1.1. Router 1 gig 00, that is your 200.12.1.1 for subnet A. Subnet mask is the same, 255, 255, 255, 128, because it's a slash 25. And then the gateway is null, because it, it is the gateway. That's why you've got these red dashes here. PC2, last usable is 212,190. Subnet mask is going to be a little different, right? Because remember, our subnet mask is going to be 255, 255, 255, 192. The default gateway is our first usable, 212, 1, 129. And then that's the same IP that goes on the router, gig 001 interface, along with the matching subnet mask. And that's it. So we've got a reflection question here. If you perform the same exercise using fixed length subnet masking, is this going any, below, any further down here? Is that the last page? There we go. Okay, that's the last page. All right, so if you perform the same exercise using fixed length subnet masking, what would the IP address in subnet mask of PC2B? And so the reason they're asking you this question, right? Fixed length subnet masking. Meaning all of the subnet masks we use are the same for this given network here, this 212.1.0 slash 24. So if it was fixed length, meaning we had to meet the 100 requirement, we would only get two slash 25s. That's it. We'd have one slash 25 that started at 212.1.0, and the other one would start at 212.1.128. And they would both be slash 25s, and that would be it. PC2 would be in the second subnet, in the 128 subnet ID range. The last IP in there is 255. That is the broadcast address. And 254 would be the last usable IP. And if it's a slash 25, the subnet mask is 255, 255. 255, 128, and your IP would be 212, 1, 2, 5, 4. And again, if you look back up here and you look at PC2, it's over in subnet B, it would be the second subnet, and that is going to do it. So this is going to wrap up all of the activity, tutorials, and solution sets for our eight-week session here. Again, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Remember to practice your subnetting so you're ready for the hands-on final skills-based assessment, which opens next week. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.